Kas Oktoberan ng Nanggulit Lerpong from Universitas Klapat, Manado. He is a lecturer and graphic designer from the Faculty of Computer Science of the University of Indonesia. He received his bachelor's degree in Computer Science at the same university and his master's degree in design from Universitas Tri Sakti, Indonesia with a concentration in visual communication design. He will be presenting to us this morning a title or research study entitled Android-based information searching the, uh, the Manado City Government case. May we welcome our speaker. Building. 
just go to the organization committee and then we did the interview. We tried to find the, let's just say the database. So let's just say for the example, where do, where do we get uh, the information only for uh, drinking water? Where do we get the information about education? So they gave us the data. And after that, we do uh, modeling or design based on the information that we get. After that, we construct the database about the information that we get. And then after that, we deploy and deliver the application. And hopefully, we get the feedback for the data. So, and this is the application framework. So you can just uh, use the smartphone. You can install it because it's an Android application. And after that, actually we don't have to connect to the internet. If you want to use the uh, Google Maps for the direction, we can uh, use the internet connection. But if we don't use the internet connection, we're still able to use the application. As the application, uh, actually I'm sorry, this is delivered from Indonesia because this application made locally only for our province. But don't take the local content, just use the concept. We can use it the concept and then we can apply it in other country. Just use the concept. So you just press the search button, uh, maybe later I can show you. And then the information we can have, the institution name, the address, the telephone number, the email, website, even their job description. So if you want to get permitted for this drinking water, for example, you just put simply drink or maybe water, and then everything about the keyword that you input will be shown up in the information field. This is our scope and limitation. The information show search for another government institution only, but you can uh, use it for others. Just change the subject. Information based on keyword input only by keyword input. And then the third information type, text, maps, name, institution, address, phone number, email, website, institution, service, map, via Google Map. The keywords are based on job description and government services. User will have information of government as much as 30 to listen institution for now. And then autocomplete suggestion make easier for user so they can use it. So this is our application design. We are using the unified Monetic language. There is a search button there the information, the history, including the few surface, the requirement of surface, the event, and the detail of the description. And this is the, the I'm not going into details for this uh, class day one. So, this is the screenshot. And this is the logo. And then you can uh, use these three buttons. Search, history, and then the exit. Let's just say, I'm sorry, this is the example is using Indonesia. But here, for example, you just use the keyword, let's just say drink or water. And then everything about water that government institution serve will be listed here. Anything. The institution name, the telephone, the email, website, the access, the address, and then the job description. And then you can use this for uh, talk to them. Yeah, right now we don't have maybe later, maybe direct chat. But we only have the information there. And then uh, there is a list, the information about the institution. If we, uh, if we want to use the example of this, uh, water, they will list the, their description here. And then every requirements, if you want to get permitted, what kind of documents that will be needed. So we can prepare before we are going to the uh, institution building. And this is the script about the map. How do, we, uh, how do we get that from your position? So we know where the institution will be. So everything is there. Conclusion. This application can be run as a very operating system. With API 11, minimum 17, or version 4.2. Yeah, Jelly Bean still can be run. And this application can be run. Our suggestion 
Japanese and foreign institution under the university, include the district area. And then maybe we can use the net user content generator, maybe something like comments or testimonial. And then our suggestion for the third, use the natural language processing method perform, to perform search like maybe the Google search engine. Yes. Okay, I think that's all that I can share. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to go. So thank you. Thank you. So
up uh, improve to English version so oh, yeah, everybody sure. can access sure. that and uh, in my experience uh, not the, the local citizens uh, found difficulty to yeah. contact with the government but the foreigners found difficulty when they visit Indonesia so it is possible to improve the to very very possible something in Indonesia Thank you so much for your suggestion. Actually, I didn't, didn't mention it before. Actually, this application made locally because the needs for the for the user there. So we made it uh, locally. But we can use it for, uh, yeah, let's say, more wide. It's very